Good evening. Today we will see a second problem on this cantilever method. Now this type, type of problem we have not taken in the class. Uh, so we have same. And now if you will see, we have this as symmetrical with respect to your uh, uh, span of base. And therefore you will get it as uh, uh, centroid at center. That is 8 meter from left or 8 meter from right. So we will have this will be 8 meter as it is symmetrical. You can calculate it also. If I will calculate it, X bar is equal to. Then we have all columns have same uh, area. And therefore we have first A into 0. Plus A into 5. Plus a into 11 plus a into 16 and divided by 4a. So you can see first due to this a into 0, due to this a into 5, due to this a, a into 5 plus 6, 11, and this will be a into 10 plus 6, 16. And from this we will get it as 16 plus 11, 32 upon 4 and we will get 8 meter from left. So we have uh, X bar 8 meter from left. Now if we will plot this upper part now assumptions we have same I will not go with this. We have this will be I when we have this will be J when then we have K when and then we have L when. Then here we have that is I2. We will say this will be J2. And then this will be L2. If we will plot this, then we are going to get it as. So we have four columns. So we have pi meter, then we have pi meter, and then uh, we have six meter inside. So 5 meter, 6 meter, 5 meter. Now here we have that is V I when. Now this is downward because moment due to 18 kilo Newton is clockwise at 11. So this is 11. And then we have at center. So left side we have downward. So this also we have V J when. Then we have this upward now right side. This is VK1. And then we have this will be VL1. Now we have VI1 distance from centroid upon 8 is equal to VJ1 upon 3 is equal to VK1 upon 3 is equal to VL1 upon 8. So we have Axial force that is directly proportional to the distance from the centroid. And then we have this one. Now if we will take moment about L1 is equal to 0, then what we will get in that case? So we have moment about L1 is equal to 0. Then we have 18 into. Now we have this distance as 2 meter because total height is 5 meters. So 18 into, sorry, 4 meters. So you can see this is 4 meters. So half we have 2 meters. So 18 into 2 we have clockwise. Now VI1 we have anti clockwise minus VI1 into 16. Then we have minus VJ1 into. 6 plus 5, 11, and then minus VK1, sorry, plus, because due to VK1, we have clockwise, so we have plus VK1 into 5, and that is equal to 0. Now we have here, if you will see, then we have VJ1 equal to VK1, and we have VI1 is equal to VL1, because these are symmetrical. And then from this, we will get it as 16 VI1 plus 11 VJ1 minus 5 VK1, and that is equal to 36. Now we will put a value of VI1 in terms of VJ1, 
and therefore we will get uh, v j1 that is equal to vk1 and v i1 we will get sorry v we have calculated v j1 so we will get v j1 and that is equal to 3 by 8 into v i1 and the same we have that is equal to v k1 so we will substitute over here so we have 16 v1 plus v i1 plus l1 into 3 by 8 v i1 minus 5 into 3 by 8 v i1 and that is equal to 36. And by solving this, we are going to get value of V I when that is 1.97 kilonewton and therefore we have V I when that is equal to V L one also we have same and that is equal to 1.97 kilonewton. And from this we can find V J one equal to V K one is equal to 3 by 8 into 1.97 and we have this value equal to 0 0.74 kilometers. Now we know all these values. Now we will consider one by one separate part. So first I will consider what we have to find out that is important. We have to find axial and shear force in member JK. So we are interested with this JK. So now we will first go for uh, joint I. So we are going to be in this fashion. So we have this is 2.5 meters and vertical we have 2 meters. Now axial force we have calculated 1.97 kilonewton. 97 kilonewton and this we have that is 18 kilonewton. Now we will find the remaining three forces. So we will have this. So this is I win. And we have this as H I win. Now we will take moment about now we have this as I2. So moment about I2 is equal to zero. So we have H I win into 2 minus 1.97 into 2.5 and that is equal to 0 and we will get H I1 that is equal to 2.46 kilonewtons. 2.46 kilonewtons. So H I1 we have 2.46 uh, kilonewtons. So then we have next once I know this value, then I will apply summation F Y zero. We will get this value that is 1.97 kilonewton. And then this value we will calculate. And we have this value 18 minus 2.46. And we have this value 15.54 kilonewtons. Now we will go to join J. So now I will plot joint J and then we will find the values for joint J. And that will give us the required answer. So now we have J over here. So we have. This is I2. So we have this equal and I2 so same forces opposite direction. So we have this value 1.97. And this is 15.54 we have left. So we are here 15.54 towards right. Then uh, we have this value we have calculated which is uh, downward 0 0.74 kilonewtons. And we have to find uh, remaining values. So we will go for uh, remaining values in this. So we have first that is uh, this we have that is J1. 
so we have this value i j sorry h j value so this distance we have 2.5 meter this joint is j joint this is i2 and we are here this is j2 so now this distance is 3 meters and now we will take moment about j2 equal to 0 and by taking moment about uh, j to 0 we will get it as minus 1.97 into we have 2.5 plus 3 then minus 0.74 into 3 we have this distance as 2 meter and plus h j1 into 2 that is equal to 0 and this will gives us h j1 that is equal to 6.53 km so you can just calculate it i also calculate over here so we have 5.5 into 1.97 plus 0.74 into 3 and divided by 2 so 6.53 km so h j1 we have 6.53 km then we have to find the value at i to j2 now we have uh, this is 1.97 this is 0.74 and therefore we will get value at j2 addition of the two that is 1.97 plus 0.74 and it comes 2.71 km so we have this value 2.71 km and then here we have to find out this value and we will have this value 15.54 minus 6.53 and then we have this value 9.01 km and then this is jk and question is find jk so what we will get therefore axial force in jk that is equal to 9.01 kN and shear force in jk in jk and that is equal to 2.71 kN now if i have to find the shear force diagram for ij then what i will get i have to take this 1.97 so for ij so we have this as 1.97 this distance we have 2.5 meter so this will develop clockwise moment therefore uh, anti clockwise moment so we have to consider fixed end moment opposite to this and value we have 1.97 into 2.5 and it will take beam below so 1.97 into 2.5 4.93 kN meter so we have 4.93 kN meter so we can have this uh, bending moment diagram so we are in this fashion so we have this value this value we have 4.93 so 4.93 now similarly if we have to find out for jk so we have jk value here 2.71 and this distance is 3 meters so two this is again anti clockwise to balance it we have clockwise so we have 2.71 into 3 and we will get it 8.13 kN meter and then from this we are going to get this diagram in this fashion so actually i do not have space over here you have to draw according to its ordinates so it should be 8.13 this is also 8.13 means instead of this if i will consider this below and i have this as i then we have somewhere here this is j and then let us we have this as k then how i will plot this diagram in examination so we can have this so plot in diagram only so we are with this so we have this value 4.93 
and this value is around 1.8 to 1.9 times this value, so should show greater one. This ordinate you can see and this ordinate you can see. So show it uh, larger one and then we are in this question and we have this value 8.13. So likewise, we should be in position to plot this bending moment diagram. So this is about the second problem of your cantilever method. Uh, so now we will stop here only. So thank you.